Hey guys, it's Will from Learnerator, and in this edition of AP Micro Mondays, we're going to review lump sum subsidies and lump sum taxes. So, in another week, we reviewed the per unit taxes and subsidies, but here we're going to be dealing with the opposite of that, which is the lump sum situation. So what you need to know about lump sum is it's essentially a one-time transfer. And what that means is that whether this is a tax or a subsidy, it's a one-time payment or one-time subsidy. And so the way to think about this is versus the per unit situation in which marginal cost is influenced, here marginal cost experiences no change. Um, so what happens instead though is that profitability will change. And so let's first, you know, let's just lay out the two situations so that we can better understand this. Um, I think it becomes a lot more clear once we draw it out. So let's first look at the situation of a lump sum tax. Well, in this case, the marginal cost is going to remain the same. The quantity is probably going to remain the same as well. However, your profitability is definitely going to go down. And the reason why is because you have this tax that you have to pay in this situation. So let's look at this. We have price, quantity, downward, then demand, marginal revenue. And what we may come across is we might have a marginal cost curve like so. And then we also have our average total cost curves. So this could, could potentially be um, here, for example. And then we may have another one up here. And then so this would be average total cost 2 and average total cost 1. And so what this is showing is that with the tax in place, I have a higher average total cost. And so what's happening is I actually am experiencing a decrease in my profitability. And so if I were to actually look at where marginal revenue intersects marginal cost, we see that that happens right here, and therefore I would set my price here. And so if I were to just look at this, I see that in the first situation before the lump sum tax is put into effect, I was making profit, right? Because my I was setting my price higher than my average total cost. However, in this second situation where there's a lump sum tax, the average total cost has now exceeded my price, and therefore I'm actually taking a negative profit. So that's what happens in the case of a lump sum tax. It's not necessarily that you're making a negative profit, but you definitely experience a decrease in profitability. And that's because your average total cost goes up. So in this scenario that I've painted here, you can see that the average total cost has gone up so much so that it's greater than the price. And so I'm clearly losing money in this situation. The next situation is a subsidy. So a subsidy is a way that a government or another organization helps out a producer to make them more profitable, right? And so in this case, again, there's no change in the marginal cost since it's a lump sum. There is no change in the quantity. However, there will be an increase in profitability. So let's draw this situation out. We have our downward sloping demand. We have our marginal revenue. And then we will have our standard marginal cost curve. And then we can just draw the opposite of the left-hand side graphs, which is we will have this average total cost, and then another average total cost. And this one is going to be average total cost 1 in this case. And this will be average total cost 2. And so what's happened here? Well, what we see is that as a result of this subsidy, our average total cost goes down. Right? We see this downward shift in the average total cost. And so if we were to trace where we set price as a monopolist, where marginal revenue equals marginal cost happens here, and therefore I would set my price right here, So I see that in the first situation, without the subsidy, I'm losing money, right? Because without the subsidy, I have a greater average total cost. 
However, in the second situation in which we have this average total cost go down, it's now no longer at a point in which it exceeds uh, the overall market. And so in this situation, I'm becoming more profitable since my average total cost has become much more manageable. So the main takeaway here is your profitability goes up, your average total cost goes down. So that's the main takeaway in the case of a subsidy. So again, to review, in the case of a lump sum tax or subsidy, there is no change in the marginal cost. However, there is a change in profitability. And so what you need to consider is what happens for the producer. In this case, if it's a tax, then you will become less profitable because you have to pay this tax and your average total cost has gone up. On the contrary to that though, if it's a subsidy, then your actual profitability will go up and your average total cost will go down. So that pretty much covers it for this video. I will see you guys next time.